Hello everybody, my name is Arashi YT, your coach of the Groningen Noctiles, bringing you week 4 of the BBL Season 3 as we take on D. Willy, coach of the Brisbane Scythers. So far this season isn't going very well for us. I'm having a lot of fun using mods like Maractus and Sepstrika, but we haven't gotten a win in this competition yet. We're going 0 and 3 so far with a differential of minus 7 or minus 9. So, hopefully against D. Willy, coach of the Brisbane Scythus, we can finally get our first win in the competition. And if I'm not mistaken, I got my first or second win against D. Willy last year in the BBL Season 3. I think it was the second win because the first win was against Aaron2420, coach of the Calgary Infernapes. But, I did win against D. Willy last season. So, hopefully this week we can get another win for the Groningen Noctiles this season against the Brisbane Scythus and it will be our first win then in this competition which I can actually use because the last couple of weeks we're not doing that very well in league draft format but my opponent has a very very dangerous team and the team is as followed he's bringing the Golem, the Frisian, the Klefki, regular Saigar this time, Swatloon which I very like and the Primal Kyogre. Now the Pi Primal Kyogre could spell trouble for us. My team is as follows. We're bringing the Primarina Choice Packs, Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice, Moonblast, Ice Beam and Energy Ball. My Eveltal is rocking out the Choice Scarf set, Dark Aura with Dark Pulse, Oblivion Wing, Heat Wave and U-Turn. Then we have Sep Striker rocking out the Choice Packs with Fold Switch, Hidden Power Ice, Thunderbolt and Overheat. We're bringing two Choice Packs users in this match because I really want to go on the full offensive here because Sep Striker could potentially win this for us if the likes of like Golem and Saigard are gone. Then we have Gudra with the Assault Fest, Sap Zipper with Earthquake, Fire Blast, Power Whip and Ice Beam. We are rocking like a physical and special running Gudra here with like Earthquake and Power Whip and then we have like Fire Blast and Ice Beam on the special side. Then we got Maractus with the Grazium Z, uh, Storm Drain for that Primal Kyogre with Pedal Dance, Hyper Voice, Spiky Shield and Giga Drain. Spiky Shield is there of course to scout out the opponent because we aren't bringing the Torkoal in this match because Torkoal wasn't going to do that much with the Primal Kyogre on his side. So I was like, okay, we can just bring Maractus with Storm Drain. We can slam the Grass CMC on there. And if needed, we can hit the Nuke button again with the Pedal Dance. Or we can just try to have fun maybe with Grassium Z Spiky Shield. You know, I like to bring heat sets. I like to try some heat out. But who knows what Maractus can do in this match. And last but certainly not least, we have Reuniclus, Shirai the Reuniclus, Leftovers with Magic Art, Psychic, Signal Beam, Calm Mind, and Trick room now if you're wondering why there wasn't an lbc or an apa little cup match last weekend i am trying to record those but i don't have the software to record those matches so i have to be reliable on everybody else so that's why they're a little bit late plus the lbc match was done late so there was like a time issue on that side but on this match, he's going to start out with the Golem, while I'm going to start out with my Primarina, knowing that Primarina can mostly hit on anything at his side of the field. And if the Golem wants to come in, I can just click Energy Ball. I know the Sturdy was coming, and if he wants to set up the Stealth Rocks, that's A-OK. -okay. I can live with that, because the Stealth Rocks will not do that much against my side of the field. Now, I know the Custer Berry was coming, because most of the time, if you see a Golem on your opponent's side uh, in the League Draft format, it's mostly running the Custer Berry with Sturdy. Now, I thought that Bailey, the Gudra, could take a hit here from the golem but unfortunately for us i made like a calculating error here and that is going to do amazing damage and i was hoping he didn't brought the sucker punch but he was rocking out the sucker punch so golem will get a kill here and i lost my gudra but gudra is kind of a pokemon that i can you know lose and not have any deal with in this type of match. Now I went on the Maractus here with Spiky Shield to see if he was going for any other move than Sucker Punch. But he was going for the Sucker Punch. So I'll take the damage here on the Maractus with the Sucker Punch. But I will click a Giga Drain and kill off the Golem. So Maractus will get 4 kills this season so far. So you know, I can't be unhappy with that. But yeah, we did lost Gudra in exchange. And it's something that is not that bad, but at the same time, having Gudra would have been beneficial for us. But again, I rather lost 
good right there than like Primarina because Primarina can still be useful for us in this match. Now, now the Primal Kyogre is on his side of the field. So I, of course, clicked Spiky Shield again to see if he's rocking out the Ice Beam. And he was rocking out the Ice Beam. So there was only one thing I can do here. And that is going out back into my Primarina to take the hit. Then click Energy Ball again or maybe Moonblast and try to put pressure on him on the offensive side. Because I'm still Choice Specs, Primarina and Energy Ball will do amazing damage to this thing nonetheless. So the Ice Beam on the Kyogre will connect on the, Prim on the Primarina. And luckily for us he doesn't get the Frozen. Now he will reveal Substitute which kind of scared me. But I knew an Energy Ball would take down the um the substitute but of course this is also a great play by him because he will not take that much damage because of the substitute and now he can click thunder and kill off my primarina and i wasn't expecting the thunder at that point so that was a nice bait for him for me to stay in and go for another energy ball and we lost Primarina now, so that's very bad for us, but because Primarina could have potentially, as I said before, put a lot of pressure on his side of the field. So I had to go into my Step Striker now, which is also Choice Specs, and I had to go for a move here. Now I predicted the switch in here and went for the Hidden Power, Hidden Power Ice, but it will not do that much. Of course, now I'm stuck into a Hidden Power Ice because I am Choice Specs. So I will switch into the Mon that can take most of any hits from the Frisian, And that is my Reuniclus. And he will go for the close combat. So he was also very playing on the heavily offen offensive side here. And that is actually going to help me out right now. Because that damage from the close combat will get recovered by the leftovers pretty much. And now he has to switch out. Because uh, Reuniclus could potentially hurt this Frisian. Now I set up the trick room here because now Reuniclus will most likely outspeed anything on his side of the field and now the Swadloon was on the on his side of the field so I don't know what, what Swadloon was going to try to do so I decided to just go for the Calm Mind here go for the Calm Mind I think if he had like Signal Beam himself I think that won't have to do that much but now we have the Calm Mind up and he's going to try to Toxic me and I was like okay that's not f perfectly fine by me because we have Magic Guard. He's probably thinking that I am Regenerator at that point. So here I was like, okay, we have one Calm Mind up. Two Signal Beams against him should do the trick. He's going to Toxic me. He's going to hit me. But again, that will not do that much. Because the Magic Guard ability will make sure that I won't get any recall damage from the Toxic. And now with the Leftovers, we are back at full health. So Reuniclus is looking pretty good good here so i went for the signal beam here to try to take the kill because if the swat loon has like sticky webs or something else that could potentially hurt my team a lot with the substrika because my substrika is a potential win con especially if this thing that is now on the field is gone the Psygod. so here i was like okay i'm just gonna go for the psychic i'm not going to try to set up anymore i'm not gonna be greedy i just wanted to do um, do as much damage as possible and he is going for the dragon dance now the trick room will fade away next turn so at this point i was like okay i can take a thousand arrows but if he goes for anything else that could potentially hurt me, he is going for the Thousand Arrows, however, and we are going to survive that hit. It will do like almost 50%. I think that's like close to 50%, but the next Psychic will kill off the Psygod, and that means that my Substrika pretty much has a free way now on my side of the field to potentially take the win for us because Kyogre uh, he still has the Clef Klee any of his mons the Frisian we can potentially wall it potentially do damage against it so it's looking pretty good for us in this match now here I did not want to lose my Reuniclus just yet because Reuniclus could still you know be a huge defensive Pokemon for us in this match so I of course went into the Maractus he was going for the orange impulse and we are going to get the storm drain now I knew that an ice beam was coming so at this point I was just like okay Maractus is probably going to go down I don't think we can you know um, take a hit from that ice beam so I had to sack off Maractus here because then we get a free switch in into the mansion Sub striker and now I can try to do some work with Sub striker <coughs> 
Now, he is going to withdraw his Kyogre, as the Heavy Rain will go away because of that, and he will go into his Frisian. And this time I went for the Thunderbolt, I did not want to predict him maybe staying in, so I went for the Thunderbolt here, and here I was like, okay, I have to switch out again, because we are stuck with the choice packs on Thunderbolt right now, so we can go back into Reuniclus. So now it's Reuniclus against Ferision again, and of course he is going to close combat me again, trying to take down the Substrika, but that's not going to do that much to the Reuniclus yet again. So we are going to get some leftovers recovery back from the uh, after the attack from the Frisian. Now he will click X Scissor, and that's not going to kill the Reuniclus, and Reuniclus can now click Psychic. And that will kill off the Frisian. So Reuniclus getting 3 kills here. Now I'm going to talk about Reuniclus after this match. Because I did some trades. And I may or may not have traded away Reuniclus. But. Reuniclus is still on my side of the field. Like 14, 17 HP left. And we have now the Primal Kyogre back on his side of the field. And he also still has like the Klefki in the back. So he was going for the Substitute again. Trying... To, you know, maybe to, like, I think then he was, like, Calm Mindset with Kyogre, with Substitute. He had the Thunder and, or, no, he has Ice Beam, Orange Pulse, Substitute. Yeah, so, and the Thunder, so, that was, like, his moveset. He was going for the Ice Beam at this point to try to just kill off my Io Shirai, the Reuniclus. Reuniclus did amazing stuff in this match, but I can now go into my Substrika. And at this point, I can just click Thunderbolt. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to click Thunderbolt. And that is going to kill the Kyogre. So now he has only the um, the Klefki left. And I have still my Substrika. And I have my Eveltal in the back. And here I can just try to keep on clicking Thunderbolt. That is going to do amazing damage. He will Drain and Kiss. To recover some HP. But if you look at that health bar. Another Thunderbolt. Should do the trick. So we're going to fire off that Thunderbolt. And that is going to kill. Which means that we are going to take. The first win. In the BBL Season 3 this season. And I cannot be happier anymore. So I played this match perfectly. My opponent played the match perfectly. Everything went as planned in this match and that was to take care of the Psygod and the Golem so that my sub striker has a clean uh, you know switch in and a clean uh, route to just take care of the opponent's side there and actually everything works well perfectly the only thing that I made a mistake was at the beginning of the match by letting down Gudra because of me not doing my calcs pretty much good and losing my Primarina, but that was just an amazing bait and switch from my opponent with the Kyogre by revealing Substitute first and then going for the uh, Thunder there, killing off my Primarina. But other than that, we played this match to our full in intent. Like, we did great stuff with this match, especially with Reuniclus, but I did make some trades in um, after this match. Because in week 5... We will have some other Pokemon. I mentioned before in week 3 that we are probably going to trade away Mega Scissor. That's why I didn't brought Mega Scissor because it wasn't working out for us very well. But I can say that Reuniclus will also be traded away. And also Rhydon will leave the team. So Mega Scissor, Rhydon and Reuniclus will leave the team. But... The Pokemon we are going to replace those will be addressed in another video, which will probably be out uh, somewhere this week, where I will, where I will be going into the trades that I made in this competition. And I made some pretty fun trades. I brought another Pokemon that is probably going to be very fun to use. It will probably not be any Pokemon that go is going to take the many wins for us, but we can have some fun with that. So, I will, as I said before, address that in another video. I want to thank D. Willy for another crazy battle. Most of the time, if I battle against D. Willy, we all, always have, like, fun battles. So, this was also a very heavily offensive battle from both sides. And, 
you know, Sepstrika pulled out the win for us in the end, but Reuniclus did amazing. So Reuniclus had a very nice farewell match in this in this match. So yeah. Uh, I want to thank Lantern Joe again for doing the replay. His link will be in the description as well, as well as all the other coaches, of course, in the BBL. And the Willy site of the match will be also in the description below. So be sure to check that out as well. Rest me to say that, again, as mentioned before, I will try to bring out the other LBC matches and APA Little Cup matches. Uh, LBC week 4 or week 5 and APA Little Cup week 2. Those will be up this week as well. Uh, my apologies for that, but time issues are sometimes a thing and, you know, work and everything. I've said it so many times, but sometimes it's, you know, something that I can't avoid. But if you enjoyed this bad match, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video with others, slash subscribe button down below, and hit that bell icon, because then you get notified every time I upload a new video, and that is sincerely appreciated. But I'm going to end this video off here, and I will see you next week as we take on the... Puffy Pachiritsus, if I'm not mistaken, led by coach Sparks the Goth. And I can already assure you that's going to be a heated match as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye bye!